I'm Stacy uh, from Education Division, Taipei Mission in Sweden, one of the overseas branch offices of the Ministry of Education in Taiwan. Uh, I'm grateful to have this opportunity to introduce and promote TOEFL, the test of Chinese as a foreign language to students and teachers from University of Helsinki and University of Turku, and maybe also other participants from other Nordic countries. And TOEFL has been held in Sweden and Norway, uh, especially in Stockholm for more than 10 years. Hopefully we will have it in Finland in near future. And my office will be willing to facilitate and uh, provide the services with local partner universities. The TOEFL test is administrated by the Ministry of Education of Taiwan through a committee called Steering Committee for the Test of uh, Proficiency of Huayu to meet the high demand of international Chinese learners overseas. TOEFL services are organized and administrated by local Taiwan representative offices like us. Uh, I cannot hear you, Stacy. Uh, now or from- uh, No, beginning? yes, now I can hear you, thank okay. you. Okay, okay. Uh, the test of Chinese as a foreign language, we call it TOEFL, is Taiwan's national standardized test designed and developed by National Taiwan Normal University in 2001. And the first test was held in 2003. It is designed for non-native speaker of Chinese, such as foreigners and overseas Chinese who want to know their Chinese proficiency level and want to study, work, or do business in Chinese-speaking countries or regions, they are all welcome to register for the test. And there are four subtests in TOEFL, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And this could provide the basics of recognizing language qualification across the national borders. And TOEFL is available in both traditional and simplified character versions to meet the need of all kinds of Chinese learners. Take Sweden, for example, TOEFL in Sweden provides reading and listening test. The total test time is around two hours, one hour each. Listening and speaking test could be paper-based or computerized why speaking and the writing test are both computer-based. TOEFL corresponds to CEFR and ACTFL. Both are uh, international standard uh, for describing language ability. TOEFL provides four bands and eight levels Four bands include band novice for the very beginner, band B, band, uh, and band A, band B, and band C. Each band is further divided into two levels, making a total of eight levels, novice one, novice two, and level one to level six. And the target test takers of band novice from this table, uh, you can see, it's designed for learners who have studied Chinese for 60 to 240 hours in non-Chinese speaking regions and know about 300 high frequency words and are able to use very basic grammar and sentence structures. And those who have learned for 200, 40 to 720 hours or no between 500 or more basic Chinese vocabulary items can register for band A level and so on. There are also other ways to find out the proper level to register. For example, you can download the mark test from official website of TOEFL or check the 8,000 Chinese vocabulary item 
which I will explain more later. Uh, TOEFL provides several different formats. The standard paper-based test, uh, CAT, that is computerized adaptive uh, test and the speedy screening and home edition. Uh, people who like to take a TOEFL test using the traditional standard paper-based test simply need to select the test band they consider most appropriate based on their educational background and skills. The people who registering for the TOEFL CAT listening and reading test do not need to select a particular band. I can explain more here. The TOEFL CAT uh, employs rush models of item response theory. That is, the test taker doesn't need to choose the test level or band when they register for the test. The computer select the base items based on the test taker's response to the previous items. Compared to other test formats, CAT uh, takes less test items to evaluate the competence. And the item selection is adapted by the test taker's response. In the speedy screening, um, because more and more university and colleges are faced with the challenge to instantly assess the students' proficiency levels upon admission and evaluate the progress they make in the end of a semester or in the courses. And to meet such needs, the speedy screening system is developed. Speedy screening could be viewed as a short version of CAT. It takes half time of the CAT and the paper-based test. The test results uh, comprise a scale score and an assessed level, which could correspond to CEFR and uh, ACTFL scales as well. As for the home edition, sorry. This is a cloud-based testing designed to meet the demands of overseas test takers and especially very useful during a pandemic period of time when the campus is closed and there are restrictions of inner gallery. And TOEFL Home Edition will be implemented using remote monitoring method. So test takers could have it at home or at any places. And currently only band A and band B of the TOEFL test are available. Uh, applicants should apply this this home edition directly to the steering committee from email address. Okay, and now we have some example of the subtest in TOEFL with a simplified version. This is listening. And this is reading. And this is speaking. and also writing. Uh, you could find more examples on the official website. Uh, so proficiency test, TOEFL does not develop its test items based on any specific language textbooks, but um, they use the content from the language materials in daily life, such as uh, the advertisement, notices, letters, memos, time schedules, weather forecast, and the, co the topics covers literature, science, arts, astronomy, history, and so on. Okay, uh, for those who are more familiar with uh, HSK Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, uh, here is the comparison uh, table between TOEFL, HSK, and uh, CEFR. Uh, basically, I would say uh, they cover different levels and they will need different vocabulary items. Here. Uh, please note that 
according to CFR, um, the A1 level should be for those who with five vocabulary items. So uh, in this case, we will say in TOEFL, you need to have more vocabulary items learned in HSK to meet this uh, level A1 and also the rest. Uh, that's a uh, very um, basic uh, simple comparison. And uh, we could see TOEFL covers more uh, advanced levels than uh, HSK. And here is the TOEFL official website. In the website, it provides many different references, uh, like a TOEFL 8,000 Chinese uh, vocabulary chart, which I will show later. And you could download the mark test uh, liquid register e-paper, and you could do the mark test online. It is also a good way to find out which level is the proper level for the test takers. Uh, you could see from here, there are different pages for different levels. And in each page contains the phrases you might use, you might hear from the exam. TOEFL in Taiwan has more uh, frequent uh, frequency test uh, about six times per year. And it will schedule in different months. Mostly we use computer-based test. So it is quite convenient for foreign students who study Mandarin in Taiwan. They could take TOEFL in their mostly uh, in very big cities. As for TOEFL worldwide, uh, you can see there are so many countries have ever held a TOEFL exam. Uh, actually, there's also uh, Norway here and Sweden in Nordic countries. And here are some photos with paper based tests overseas. Here is uh, Oslo University in Norway. And you can see also UK and Japan and France. And this is computer-based test. For this test, we need to file a classroom with the uh, correspondent uh, equipment. And here are the, uh, sorry. You could see the fee in applied in different countries. Uh, basically, I would say it's pretty much the same, just according to the exchange rate could be different. But um, we will have a test, uh, like a pilot test with partner universities for the first time. And with that pilot test, no fee will be charged. And after the first test, if everyone think we could continue this cooperation and uh, we need this test, then we could register for official test. Then the test taker need to pay different amount of fees. Uh, you may notice on this column, the novice and the CCCC. Uh, the CCCC is another TOEFL test designed especially for children under uh, 17 years old. The difference will be the content of the test is more based on the uh, young people's life experiences. And type emission in Sweden will be responsible for the most cost of the TOEFL. 
uh, including the rental venue, uh, recruiting uh, test proctors and uh, uh, DHL expenses, because we need to send back all the answer sheet to Taiwan for them to give scores. Uh, please note that the trial test won't provide certificate, but the score could be found uh, on the website when the test taker register on the website. They will have their own uh, account and password. And after the exam, they could also use the same account and password to check out their own grades. Here is the example of the score report. You could see uh, the level is correspond to CEFR and ACTFL. And this is the official certificate. But why, why do we need to take a TOEFL? What's the benefit for that? Uh, for overseas Chinese students, uh, the certificate could use for admission to a university in Taiwan. And uh, uh, like for foreign students, this certificate could be used to apply the scholarship Taiwan government provide. Um, for example, we have a Huayu Enrichment Scholarship in order to encourage international students to undertake Huayu uh, Mandarin Chinese courses in Taiwan. And we will provide 25,000 NT dollars per month that uh, um, about 792 euro. Uh, and the scholarship span could start from two months, three months, six months, up to 12 months. And foreign students are welcome to apply to the representative office uh, in their nearest country or region. And in Nordic countries, uh, for example, students in Finland could, could apply the scholarship from uh, our representative office in Helsinki. And here are other uses of uh, TOEFL certificate. You could see it is recognized by many different countries. For example, you could list certificate uh, to detect uh, your credit in Chinese language or uh, a waiver of the uh, dissertation. So I just uh, list a few. And we list this, uh, we use this online registration website for everyone. Uh, so once we decide to have this test in Finland, we will establish a new page like this and students could uh, set up and log in with their own password and uh, uh, username, your other ID, and they could uh, register from here. It was quite a simple and easy. Okay, so that's basically uh, the whole introduction I will provide today. And welcome any questions and I will stop sharing.